Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted a video in so long, too long. I just wanna make sure that all my videos are really good for you guys and that with each one I'm improving, so that's why it's taken some time. My cousin, Marissa, hey Marissa, she was asking me about the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. She always asks me my opinion and I love it. So I told her, instead of trying to explain how I use the two of these in conjunction, I just told her I'm gonna make a video. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I chose the medium contour kit. I don't think I need the light or dark. Um, the medium has been working perfectly and I feel like it would just be a waste of money for me. I love it so far. It works really well with the original contour kit. There are a few other products that I use, um, not in this video, but as far as like contouring and I showed you guys them um, in the video uh, but I didn't use them in this video just so that we strictly stick to the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit both cream and powder um, I also just received my melt lipstick in the mail it's my first one ever it's bang bang and um, this video is the first time that I'm trying it. So that'll be towards the end of the video after I finish my face. I didn't put on any lashes or eyeshadow. Um, not much with the brow. I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz and Tinted Brow Gel. Uh, but that's it. Everything else is just the contour kits. Um, and if there's any other products, I show you them and I will list them below. So just one more thing before we get started. I have to say, I am not a professional contour highlighting ninja queen any of that i have just learned these skills from years of learning and watching makeup being done and tips that i've learned from other videos on youtube if you have your perfect way of contouring and you watch this and you're like what the hell is she doing please do what you do this is me showing my viewers you know what what i do for contouring um and highlighting so if you want to get this look, keep watching. So as always, I'm going to start with my Urban Decay Complexion Prep Spray. Um, and then I'm going to use my Too Faced Hangover X Face Primer. I put this mostly in the T-zone and then all over the face. And then I'm going to take Benefits Pore Professional and really just focus this where I tend to see my pores the most, which is really my T-zone. And then I'm just gonna brush out my brows and add a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is soft brown. I could have done more with the brows, but honestly, I just needed a little bit. Uh, I wanted the focus to be on the face. Then I am just gonna take Naked Skin from Urban Decay, and this is shade five and a MAC 187 brush and just put this all over the face. It's really just a base um, for our colors just to even out my skin tone and eliminate any redness. And here are the stars of today's show, the original Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and the new Cream Contour Kit in medium. This is the powder kit and it has vanilla, banana, sand, java, fawn, and havana. And here is the cream contour kit in medium and it has banana, cream, warm coral, nude, cinnamon, and chocolate. I'm going to take my beauty blender and banana from the cream contour kit and I'm just going to put that under my eyes. I'm using this instead of a concealer. The formula is super buildable so I'm just going to put a little bit on at a time and build it up until I'm happy with the amount that it has corrected my dark circles. I am going to bring it down into a triangle and pretty much just in the inner corner of my eyelid. Not too much on the lid. Then I'm going to add that same shade on my chin and down the center of my nose. You can put this on your forehead, 
but I would prefer not to highlight mine even more. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender in the shade Cream. It is super similar to my skin tone, so I'm really just gonna work it into my hairline to balance all those tones out. It's a little bit darker, so it helps create the base for the darker contour that I'm going to be putting onto it. I'm also gonna use it just to buff out the edges of banana so that it's not so white. And just a little tap on the sides of my nose and I'm going to take this Morphe G30 brush with the shade Cinnamon and I'm going to focus this in the hollows of my cheeks and create a defined line first and then flick upwards with the color so that it creates more of a gradient effect. I'm going to take any extra product and put that in the temples and up into my hairline. Then I'm going to add that same shade cinnamon to the bottom of my chin just to cover up what I like to call my gobble. And I'm going to also bring it down my neck just to blend it with the naked skin that we put everywhere earlier. And then I'm just going to take that same MAC stippling brush and blend in my neck. Then I'm going to take that same brush, I didn't clean it, and I'm going to take the shade Chocolate and just focus it on the outer portion of the hollows of my cheeks. I just want to create a gradient effect both going down into my lips and up into my eyes. I add a little bit of that into my hairline and underneath my chin. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend everything together. You want to make sure you go up with the blending so that we are leaving that line as defined as possible. We blend out the shade Banana a little bit more. And then I'm going to take the shade cinnamon again with the same flat diviner brush just a little bit and put it on the sides of my nose. I don't really need to contour my nose. I'm pretty okay with the shape that it is naturally, but I figured why not for this video in case you do want to contour your nose. And then I'm just going to blend that again with the Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to take the Beauty Blender and the shade Warm Coral and put this on my cheeks. I want to blend it a little bit with the contour and the highlight, covering a lot of the shade banana that is on the cheeks, just to blend those two colors together. Smile for the blush. And then take my Morphe G2 brush and mix the shades banana and vanilla from the powder contour kit. I had always used the banana shade to set my under eyes, but I learned from Kathleen Lights to mix it a little bit with the vanilla, and I really do like the color better. It tones down a lot of the yellow. And this just goes everywhere that we put the banana cream shade. So I'm going to take my new Luxie 504 Large Ankle Brush and the shade Fawn from the Powder Contour Kit and I'm going to go over the cream contour in the shade Cinnamon that we did earlier. And that's just all in the hairline, the hollows of my cheeks, underneath my chin, and down my neck. Now sometimes I prefer to use MAC uh, Harmony which I'll show you here soon. And you put it just in the same places that you would put Fawn. Um, but I did want to stay true to using the Anastasia contour kit today. And then I'm going to take this tiny angle brush from uh, the Smashbox on the Rocks kit and the shade Java, which is a little bit darker than Fawn. 
and I'm just going to define that same outer portion where we put the shade chocolate earlier. And then I'm going to add a little bit to the sides of my nose just to set the cream contour that we put there. Then I just want to blend that out with any leftover product on my ankle brush. Here I am going to take my all-time favorite brush from the Smashbox on the Rocks set and I'm just going to take the shade Banana and blend out the harsh lines of our contour. I just wanted to take a little bit more of Fawn and put it on my eyelids just to create some definition since we don't have any eyeshadow on. And I just wanted to take that excess product and put it on my chin just to darken it a little bit. It seemed really bright and I didn't want it so bold. Then I'm going to take my Morphe G4 brush and a peach blush. This one is from MAC, but you can use any one you'd like. And I'm going to set the warm coral shade from the cream contour kit that we used earlier. And then I'm going to take a fan brush. This one is from Sephora, but you can use any one you'd like. Um, and the shade Sand from the contour kit. Um, I wanted to use this color as my highlight to stay true to using the Anastasia kit, but honestly, it does not illuminate enough for me. I wanted a super intense glow, uh, and so I decided to grab my Mary Luminizer from the Balm and use that on my cheeks and my chin, my Cupid's bow, and the button of my nose. Then I just wanted to blend everything together with that brush from the Smashbox on the Rocks kit. And I take my tinted brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills in chocolate and set my brows. Then I just put on a little bit of mascara. You can put on lashes if you want, but I just wanted to focus on the face today. Um, I'm going to take my all nighter setting spray. It now comes in a bottle that looks like this chill setting spray. I just have the super old version. Um, if you have oily skin, you can take this de slick. You can use any that you want. I'm just going to go with the all nighter because it really holds the contour and highlight in place. Then while that is setting in, I'm going to use my new melt lipstick. This is Bang Bang and I am in love with it already. Uh, not only is orange my favorite color, but the formula is so wonderful and it applies so nicely. I didn't even need lip liner. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I know I don't have videos coming that often, so it's a, been a slow YouTube process for me, but I promise more are coming. I think next will be my drugstore tutorial. Um, some of you requested that. So that's gonna be coming, but please, please, please share and like and subscribe and follow my Instagram and Facebook page as well. I'm also on Twitter. Um, everything is at Jay Garcia Makeup, except for Twitter, it's Jay Garcia Makeup. So I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks again, bye.